Today we will see transient analysis, some problems, though which is having a little bit of a concept also developed along. In fact, we can never illustrate any concept without problem. So, today I will be mostly focusing on single pole, single throw. We call it as SPST and I have divided single pole, single throw into one lecture and then single pole double throw into another lecture. That means each switch has only one position. It cannot be given two positions. That is the idea and highlight today. And we will also see how it is responding with time response. So, uh, we have been telling transient response is generally called time response. So, let us go for all the circuits. Any transient analysis we have standard 5 steps procedure. So, the step 1 draw circuit just before switching and calculate response. I am not saying whether closed or open, I am only saying just before switching. You know why? Because some problems we open it, some problems we close at t equal to 0. So, just better word is to say before switching. So, here we will take it for example at t 0 minus and also calculate i 0 minus. Then second step, draw circuit just after switching and calculate response. That means, T 0 plus and calculate I 0 plus. Sometimes we calculate V 0 plus also. 0 plus means just after 0. 0 minus means just before T equal to 0. So, these first two steps will give you initial conditions. Actually, we need only 0 plus, but we cannot estimate 0 plus without 0 minus. So, though we are interested in 0 plus, we are taking 0 minus because there is a link between 0 minus and 0 plus. What are that links? Only two important steps which I have given in the last lectures. First one, current in inductor cannot change instantaneously. That means, whatever the current was there just before, the same current would be there just after. Similarly, voltage across capacitor cannot change instantaneously. That means, whatever is there just before will be there just after. These two things we need to carry into our analysis. Then, step 3, calculate circuit, draw a circuit after switching and obtain circuit equations. We need to know the circuit equations after we put the switch and those equations are generally called integral differential equations. You know why? Because they will contain integrals, they will contain differentials. This integral differential equations we need to obtain. They are generally in time domain. In, but solving integrals and differentials is very tough job. That is why next step is step 4, take Laplace transform and solve for response in S domain. See the very purpose of Laplace transform is converting integral differential equation into linear algebraic. So, once we convert integral differential equation into linear algebraic, we can easily solve S yes domain response. For example, I of S. Yes. Lastly, step 5, take inverse Laplace and obtain response in T domain. So, this is another last step. What for? To get back into time domain. The very purpose of Laplace transform is to ease the analysis, not to leave this in S domain. So, you need to take inverse Laplace to come into time domain. Wantedly, I took, I have kept small t because time is generally called small t. So, this is the procedure. You please observe how I am going to solve every problem depending on the problem being asked. 
how to analyze sometimes i may take one or two steps sometimes i may take all the steps actually all the steps will be asked only for conventional exam like ies for gate exam all the steps is very difficult i mean lengthy problem that's why sometimes they give it as a linked problem almost all problems in transient analysis is linked for example step 1 and step 2 talks about initial conditions so calculate the initial condition and use it in this analysis so this is the the answer of the step 2 will become the data for the next so sometimes if they want to give four marks they will give break it and give that is possible but if it is a uh, two marks it is very difficult for all the sol for the entire solution to be calculated that's why they may ask one or two steps sometimes in fact they are asking just the equations they are not asking us to solve it why if the equations are right solution is automatically right so the examiner will decide what part of the steps or how many steps should be asked depending on the question but all the steps will be asked if the circuit is simple if the circuit is complicated they can't ask all the steps they that's why they may simply ask some of the steps so observe from problem to problem or illustration to illustration how these five steps i am implementing today let's go to first illustration of the problem even for explaining some problems are taken from gate because it's good to solve the existing exam i need not give my own problems when there is already existing in the gate exam one first problem in the circuit shown in figure switch s is closed at t equal to 0 with il of 0 is 0 vc of 0 is 0 in the steady state what is the voltage across capacitor please observe here in the question he is not saying il of 0 plus or minus it is implied he need not say because for il of 0 plus and il of 0 minus is always same As similarly vc of 0 plus and vc of 0 minus is same he is not changing telling anything in fact he need not say that but observe the steady state means t equal to infinity whenever you hear this word steady state instead of saying calculate the voltage at t equal to infinity he is saying steady state please observe this wording in the exam and don't be shocked there is a diode here and nowadays the fa it has become a fashion to use active devices in electrical circuits so this is given in gate 92 for one mark you must understand when it is given for one mark this question is very simple so you don't need to solve in a very big solution come on the answers are here before you and you need to find out the input given is 100 what will happen to this inductor at t equal to infinity for example he already said initial current is zero current is zero means open circuit initial voltage zero means short circuit so if you really observe this look at this as it should here is inductor short circuit why if you keep it for long time see both l and c are initially relaxed elements that means initially there is no value but at t is equal to infinity both the elements are ready to supply current and voltage what i mean is if you keep the inductor on the source for a long time if you keep the inductor on the source for a long time you know what happens it will develop full current full current means short circuit that's why this inductor is shorted and similarly if you keep this capacitor on in, on the switch for long time when the switch is closed it is connected to the source if the capacitor is connected to the source for long time it will develop voltage please remember these two words inductor connected to switch long time develops current that means full current means short circuit 
capacitor connected to the source long time that means it will develop more voltage more voltage means what whatever the voltage is there the total voltage will come here not only the value coming here including polarities and you know suppose they ask what is the current in this circuit current is zero because this is 100 this is 100 the total 100 has gone there if two voltages are equal and what is the overall there would be no potential difference no potential difference means uh, there is no current so but anyway he is asking only voltage therefore answer is 100 volts and when you see that that is the option b this is how you can draw the circuits and understand how they are responding only one word how is the inductor responding how is the capacitor responding that will decide the analysis of any circuit let us go to second problem what is the voltage across capacitor at t equal to infinity for the circuit shown assume initial conditions are zero you see like I said in the step one and step two we calculate initial conditions so he is generally saying initially means before switching they are having zero so that is uh, means he is slowly reducing your burden again in the previous question it says steady state value now he says t infinity actually both are same so i am going to show you this question in in what way the same question is asked in two ways circuit is changed but both are asking for capacitor voltage and both are asking at t equal to infinity now how do we analyze very simply saying suppose you keep this switch on because we should close it the meaning you must understand at t equal to 0 this is closed that means what before 0 it was open now if you close it this capacitor will take how much voltage this will charge fully when this is charging fully then this is 20 and there will be open circuit here then what is the voltage you may think the total 20 is coming because in the previous question I said total has come whereas now I am saying because there is a potential difference total will not come so 20 by 10 ohms and 10 ohms into 10 ohms you will get 10 volts half will come so please understand the difference in the previous case there is no potential divider now there is a potential divider if I take back you to understand the previous question you will really see what he is asking you see please observe whatever you give will come here because there is no potential divider whereas my second illustration is basically to tell you there is a potential divider here and then steady state so follow me as I go along first when the circuit is open he himself said initially 0 0 means what capacitor is 0 it's not that we are calculating it he already said in fact we can also say the same thing why here is a capacitor it is not connected to source no privilege of developing voltage remember capacitor develops voltage inductor develops current now capacitor cannot develop voltage when the capacitor cannot develop voltage what happens is 0 volts when this is 0 that is a just before switching after switching what should happen same thing will be there but he is not asking after switching please he is asking at t equal to infinity that means long time if you allow this capacitor for long time you see there this capacitor is on the supply for a long time and here is a what, one resistor, another resistor and there is a potential divider. So what is the voltage across this means 20 by 10 plus 10 into 10. So 20 by 10 plus 10 into 10 will give us half. So the answer is B. Like this questions are very simple but you have to remember those two words if you remember two words the total chapter is over 
Now let me talk to you on this third example. The switch in the circuit shown has been closed for a long time. It is opened at t equal to 0. At t0 plus, the current through the capacitor is. Now let us see. Very interesting. So far, we are closing at 0. Now it is opening at 0. And he wants to know the current when the switch is open. Now, options are there and this is also in the gate exam and question given in 2010. Again, one mark. Please understand, you may feel very tough, but it's only one step. That's why one mark. Now, what should we do? We have to follow simply our solution. T0 minus T0 plus. So, he is asking only first two steps. That's all. As I told you, all five steps cannot be asked because it, they, they demand more time. That's why in objective exam, particularly in a gate exam, normally all five steps will not come. All the five steps will come only in IES exam, that too in conventional. Because in IES also we have objective, they don't ask because they should not ask such big things. Now let me draw T0 minus T0 plus. Now look at this. T0 minus means switch was closed. What is our understanding? Switch was switch will be opened at T0 plus. So just before switching, this was closed. That means capacitor is connected to the supply for long time. If a capacitor is connected to the supply for long time, it will take full charge. Full charge means open circuit. How much is it? We will calculate depending on the circuit. When it is saying fully taken voltage, maximum voltage, maximum voltage means open circuit. Now, what is the voltage across this? Very simple. 5 by 1 plus 4 into 4. 5 by 1 plus 4 is 5 into 4 is another 4. So, that means the voltage that we have is 4 volts. That is the voltage developed. So, remember slowly different values are coming. In the first problem, total 100 volts came. But in second problem, there was a potential divider. Even now, there is a potential divider. So, capacitor is open circuit. That voltage is calculated. Now, 4. Then, so, soon after 10, if you make 0 plus, what will happen? As it is mentioned in the problem, at t equal to 0, switch was open. When the switch is open, look at the circuit, please. This part of the circuit is almost disconnected from the source. That means what? Whatever the 4 volts is here, that will give the current. Now, what is the current in this? Current through the capacitor here. So capacitor now acting as a source. 4 by 4 is 1 ampere. That is why answer is 1 ampere. So, estimate how much is developed. Use that one here. Estimating is T0 minus and T0 plus we use it. That is why T0 minus will always help us to understand what is going to happen at T0 plus. So, answer is 1 ampere. That is the option B. So, that is the third way. Let us go to fourth case. In the figure shown, the capacitor is charged to 10 coulombs. The current in the circuit, one second after the switch is closed, we have to calculate. Please observe in the question paper, they do not say calculate. They will simply say the current in the circuit after one second. That means, if they are asking for current after one second. And we have we should know the relation between the voltage and charge. Of course, Q is equal to C V. Now look at this uh, switch always. T is equal to 0. Okay. Switch is closed. Resistor is here. Capacitor is here. He wants to know what is the current. So what do we do? We will go with our step by step. First step. At T0 minus, what is happening? Switch was open. 
is the capacitor connected to source? No. When the capacitor is not connected to source, you know what is going to happen? 0 volts. 0 volts means short circuit and the total current in this is 0. This I is 0. When you say T0 plus, switch is closed. When the switch is closed 2 amperes, then going this is acting as whatever the voltage that he is giving us because he said there is a charge. Please understand, I have calculated what is the charge Q by C. As I said Q is equal to C V, 10 by 0.5 is 20 volts. So, what is the current now? 100 is given here, 20 is available across the capacitor. Then, he is saying what is the current? So, that means 40, 100 minus 20 by 2. That means 100 minus 20 is 80, 80 by 2 is 40. This is the current that is available. But he is not simply expecting the current. He is asking how much is at the response. Now, if you really go for this solution, keeping this capacitor allowed, whatever the current is there that will be discharged because you have already some current and as the capacitor is going on increasing the voltage at one point of time you know what is going to happen this total 100 will come there here you will have 100 here we will have 100 that means it is raising the voltage when the capacitor is raising the voltage current will decrease that is why it is 40 whichever is there already e power minus t by tau then we if you calculate uh, this 0.5 is the charge here if you substitute here t is equal to 1 the value of t i am substituting there it will become 14.7 so this is what how you have to estimate the current available in general this is please understand this is current in time domain but by substituting one this is the value you get because he is asking after one second so he is not asking general time specific value so that is why 14.7 that is option a so this is another problem to understand how they are asking now fifth one the circuit shown in figure is in steady state. When the switch is closed at t equal to 0, please write here assume ideal inductor. What do you mean by ideal inductor? Ideal inductor means there is no resistance inside. The current through the inductor we have to calculate at t0 plus. This is get 2 marks given for triple E there. Now, what is happening is look at 10 ohms, 10 milli then you have this 10 volts switch is closed at t equal to 0 switch is closed at t equal to 0 what is what does it mean initially it was open for long time it was open now if it is open for long time what does the capacity what how does the inductor work inductor is connected to source if an inductor is connected to source for long time, you know what will happen? As I have been telling, it will draw large current. When it is drawing large current, what is going to happen? Take full current. Full current means short circuit. So, look at this. As I said, short circuit is here. Now, we should know how much current is in this loop. In the loop, in this loop you have 10 volts by 10 ampere 10 ohms that's why 1 ampere so 1 ampere current is flowing here then if you close the switch because it is said closing a switch if you close the switch what will happen to this current inductor is delivering the current of 1 ampere as shown in the figure so how much current can go because if you have a short circuit the total current will go in this way. So, look at your options there and 1 ampere is the option. If you see these options, I will show you once again, B is 1 ampere. In fact, sometimes they will say minus 1 ampere also. 
But luckily here they didn't say anything. You don't need to bother about polarity. Just one ampere. This is the another problem. Now, let us go to sixth problem. An ideal capacitor is charged to a voltage V0 and connected at T equal to 0 across an inductor. If omega is equal to 1 by root Lc, then the voltage across the capacitor, this the seems to be a oral problem. There is no figure involved. Remember one thing, he is just explaining there is an ideal capacitor charged to voltage V0 connected across a inductor L. So, what should happen? If a capacitor inductor are in parallel, whatever voltage is developed across the capacitor will be discharged through inductor. In fact, a L and C parallel circuit is generally called tank circuit. What why it is called tank circuit? Like water is available completely for 24 hours. Here also current is available for 24 hours. For first half capacitor develops the voltage and whatever the voltage is developed second half that will be discharged through inductor. That means there is a conduction throughout cycle indirectly just like a water has water throughout 24 hours a tank circuit will have current through and 24 hours. That is why a parallel LC circuit is called tank circuit. So, this is a problem of tank circuit he was asking. In fact, for a parallel tank circuit or parallel resonant circuit you know omega is 1 by root LC. So, we need to calculate the answer is B y whatever is there across the capacitor that will be passed on to the inductor. So, that is the meaning of this. I have taken example look at here I have just put his illustration he said capacitor and inductor whatever is here across the capacitor will be discharged through. So, therefore, there is no resistor it does not take time. So, please remember there is no time constant here. And also the debt in the examiner is saying very clearly he is having ideal here another ideal here that means it does not take any time whatever is here it will go because parallel circuit voltage is passed on. So, the answer is V naught cos omega t. Let us go to 7. The time constant for the circuit given this has become a fashion nowadays they are giving their own circuit whatever they like it and from that circuit they are giving you asking you overall time constant. You know one small secret the time constant means nothing but L by R R into C either L by R or R and C. Now, you have only R and C here now calculate what is the value calculate the time constant the options are given here this s means seconds it is not Laplace s it is seconds because time constant is generally mentioned in seconds. Now, what exactly you should calculate is very simple let them give any big circuit r equivalent multiplied by c equivalent right shall we do that. When we see this look at here while calculating any time constant you need to calculate r equivalent and C equivalent. Okay. As I said one more important thing when open circuit the current source short circuit the voltage source. In our problem we have current source current source we have to do this. So, current source means open circuit now find out the value these two are in series okay. then find out these two and this if you calculate R into total C as I told you R equivalent and C equivalent will give you 4 seconds. So, do not be shocked for any big circuit when they are giving you just talk to them or think over what is R equivalent and what is C equivalent. If you take this R equivalent and C equivalent in any circuit 
you will get time constant. Please understand. In time response, we say time constant RC. When we go to frequency response, you know, same circuit or same time constant we will use in cutoff frequency or bandwidth. That is nothing but 1 by 2 pi tau. So, look at that. So, let us go to 8th one. Let us go to 8th problem. Calculate Vx at t is equal to 0 plus. Gate 2002, this is EC means electronics and communication. Now, look at this circuit. It seems to be very funny. It will take your brain. You need to think a lot. This is current source 2.5 amperes, 20 ohms, okay. 5 hernies, a rested across, he is asking for this Vx, okay. Then look at the switch, switch is most important. Always focus on the switch. You need to know whether it is open, I mean closed or open. Now tell me what is happening here. Switch is open at t is equal to 0. Please remember we are enjoying this kind of information by simply looking at the switch. But uh, next uh, I, when I take a single pole double throw, this cannot be useful. We have to understand so much and they need to tell us so much. But here single pole, single throw, it is easy to say whether it is closed or open. Now what is the interpretation here? This is closed. When switch was originally closed for long time at t equal to 0 it is open. Now as you know we have to go for t0 minus. Please observe here switch was closed and if a switch was closed inductor is given to the source long time. If inductor is given to the source long time you know what should happen? inductor will take current completely. When it takes the current completely, this acting as short circuit. When inductor is short, what is the voltage here? Vx, Vx is 0. Please observe there. Vx is 0 here. Now, what I am saying is, if Vx is 0, this is connected inside. Now, what is the current flowing? Current flows through the short circuit. That means, inductor will take total 2.5. You may say, sir, uh, what is going here? Nothing. Because in a short circuit, maximum current flows. So, inductor is taking 2.5 as it is. That is all about T0 minus. That means, which was closed. Now, uh, the exam, they, now they are going to open the switch. Now, observe here. At T0 plus, inductor will act as open circuit. Why? Because whatever the maximum is there, I am treating it as open circuit, but by separately drawing the current. Observe this current. This is 2.5. This is also 2.5. And now there is a resistance existing. Now what will happen? It will discharge. Whatever the current is there, it will discharge. So what is the voltage now in this loop? 20 into 2.5. 20 into 2.5, with all the polarities, you will get minus 50. So, this is minus 50 volts, option C. Next, ninth problem. A 10 ohm resistor, 1 hernia inductor, 1 microfarad capacitor are connected in parallel. The combination is driven by a unit step current under steady state condition, the source current flows through what? Once again, maybe you can understand one thing, he is asking steady state. As I have been telling from the first problem, steady state means T is infinity. When the T is infinity, steady state occurs and now I will take the circuit, physically I will draw it and show you. Because he is speaking verbally, let me draw the circuit. Circuits are always better than verbal explanation. At T0 minus, you know what is happening? Look at here. And also tell me what is happening to switch. He said unit step. 
please remember read my question very clearly of course it's a great question he gave the question but i selected for my concept the combination is driven by a unit step current so current it is not a voltage source it is a current source and that current source is a unit step please remember in transients there is a very important precaution this is one of the most important precaution you know what's that when we say step is what do you mean by step it increases at t equal to 0 suddenly whenever you give unit step please remember it will act as a switch you see in the whole problem he did not mention there is any switch though he did not mention the switch because he applied unit step it will act as a switch that's why I have drawn the circuit like this come on this is a current switch is closed because it's applied resistor here inductor here capacitor here what's happening inductor is connected to source for long time if inductor is connected to source long time the total current comes here total current means maximum current maximum current is there and maximum voltage is there that's the basically remember when he said unit step before switching how much volt current is given no current after switching how much is given total current so before switching no current is given and no current is given means this could not develop any current open circuit this could not develop any voltage short circuit inductor is open capacitor is short and this is what happening in this circuit therefore finally what is the voltage across capacitor capacitor voltage is zero inductor current is also zero but if you keep it for long time you see what is happening at t is equal to zero t zero minus it is closed t zero plus means what it is open how do we say it is open it is applied only when the switch is applied i am giving that here i am giving the current here i am giving the current here so for the current applied at t equal to zero means open circuit i can say this is open circuit to in order to say this is coming here this current is coming here this current is also coming here now this is the circuit for this. but what is the status will they change the status of inductor will not change open circuit like this status of capacitor will not change open circuit like that now what is going to happen is at t0 plus whatever was there will be there this was open t0 minus now also open this was open t0 minus now also open now at t greater than 0 or t infinity i have to draw the circuit because he is asking steady state now please observe if the supply is given to inductor for a long time it will take maximum current if it takes maximum current that is short circuit voltage will take maximum voltage maximum voltage means what open circuit so this is shorted capacitor is open then finally how much current is there flowing through the inductor you see that this is open circuit this is short circuit now how much current should be there through that the total current will go through the inductor because there is no open circuit here when there is a resistor it doesn't flow there total comes here that's why the current is 2.5 whatever the then you, you follow the question the the total current will flow through resistor only no inductor only yes capacitor no why capacitor no because capacitor is open so the all elements no if it is t between 0 to infinity all the elements for example any time between 0 to infinity then all the three elements are available that you can say all elements are having the current and then the only doubt comes to you when you talk about resistor look at here once again look at t is equal to infinity what's happening here it is anyway zero here why there is no current because 
the total current comes here. In a short circuit, maximum current comes, no current goes through resistor. This is about how a current source is given to a parallel one. We are coming to the last question, 10th one. 10th question is, inductor acts as short circuit to DC supply when, at what condition? This is actually I framed it for people to be really become really be checked. See, normally students having an idea for a DC inductor is short circuit, capacitor is open circuit, all such things they make. But here I write a statement, inductor acts as short circuit, I do agree. To DC supply, is it true always? Is it steady state or transient state or both or none? What is happening is, if you give inductor or connect to the inductor to supply for steady state, that means long time, steady state means infinite time, inductor will take too much of current, then it will act as a short circuit. Otherwise, a generally people are saying frequency is 0, impedance is 0, therefore inductor is acting as a short circuit, such a statements do not make it. In fact, inductor acts as a short circuit at steady state only. Similarly, if you make another question, capacitor acts as open circuit for DC only at steady state. By mistake, if you simply forget that word steady state, every time you will open and shut and hold total time response and transient response, you collapse or you spoil. So, when a people say inductor acting a short circuit, capacitor acting is open circuit, please understand and accept them only when it is T equal to infinity. So, under steady state, it is true. In transient means it is depending on time, it is not true. That is the first, I mean, certain problems related to single pole, single throw. As you observed, is there any question that I have taken, asked all the five steps? Not even one question asked all the five steps. So, as I told you at the beginning, asking five steps is a very laborious thing. But you should know because which steps they ask, we do not know. That is why they asked all the five steps, not in a single problem, but some steps in some problems. That is how they are going to test you and in this particular exam called objective exam in competitive exams.